Want to know how this happened? Buckle up, we're about to find out. Mario was on his way to pick up his daughter from kindergarten. A young woman driving a Lexus T-boned Mario's Kia Rio at 60 miles per hour, sending it rolling 60 feet before landing on top of a parked Toyota Corolla. Along the way, it hit a traffic signal as well. All three vehicles were totaled. The other driver said she'd been looking at a map on her phone and hadn't seen Mario. He sustained neck and back injuries, but he said he's lucky to be alive and he's glad this happened before picking up his daughter. Jesus was on his way to lunch with coworkers when the vehicle in front of him continued through a yellow light. An oncoming driver turned too early, hitting the car and spinning it around. The car kept rolling until it took down a traffic light on a pole. When Jesus showed responding officers his dash cam footage, they'd been thinking the red Nissan had run a red light based on where it had ended up. Thanks to Jesus' footage, the cops found the driver of the silver SUV at fault instead. Jesus gave the driver of the car his contact information in case they needed his footage for their insurance claim. Jesus sends along a shout out for his niece, Ariana. DJ spotted an interesting use of a luxury vehicle while leaving a Home Depot in Las Vegas. Now that's an expensive lumber hauler. I'm pretty sure Home Depot rents pickup trucks for this sort of thing. TC is a truck driver. While southbound on I-81, the driver of a transit van cut across the entire interstate to get to an exit. TC was going 65 miles per hour and was totally unable to brake for the van. He wanted to remind our viewers that an 80,000 pound 18 wheeler at 60 miles per hour takes an entire football field to stop. His truck took two weeks to repair and needed a new hood, bumper, and headlight. The van driver was found to be at fault after the state police reviewed this dash cam footage. Kat was driving home in the snow when she noticed a white car coming up quickly behind her with hazard lamps activated. As it passed her, the driver honked at the traffic ahead, which happened to be a police car. The police SUV pulled over and let the car pass before getting behind it and lighting it up. But the car just kept going. Kat pointed out that it turned toward a local hospital, so it's possible there was a legitimate reason for their impatience. She doesn't know what happened after that, but she hopes everything was okay. Man, we're really short on submissions. I guess I'll just have to use one of my own videos. I was headed into Medical Lake on a Sunday morning when I was nearly Honda bumped. A Honda driver rolled right through a stop sign in front of me. Fortunately, the oncoming lane was empty and I was able to swerve around the SUV. If I had slammed on the brakes, we would have definitely made contact. Drake was headed home from work and was in a lane that allows him to turn left or continue straight. The driver of a Mini Cooper in the inside turn lane didn't realize Drake was turning. In the middle of the turn, the Mini Cooper drifted into Drake's lane, clipping the front corner of his Lexus. His bumper, fender, headlight, and some coolant lines were damaged. The responding officer found the Mini Cooper driver at fault after watching Drake's footage and told him this happens all the time at this intersection. After getting home, all Drake's oil drained onto his driveway. The other driver's insurance provider, Geico, still hasn't settled the claim, so Drake's own insurance provider is paying for the repairs in the meantime. Here's another dash cam clip from a vehicle without a dash, a bicycle. Viking was riding his e-bike in a bike lane when a very proud Honda driver decided that lane was for them too. After using the bike lane to cut in front of a box truck, they again cut into it to pass more traffic, this time forcing Viking to a stop to avoid crashing into them. He reported the incident to the police and asked them to put up a barrier to protect the bike lane. He also asked if we'd ever consider starting a Wham Bam Biker Cam channel. Comment below if you'd subscribe. Brian was on his way to visit a friend. He just replaced his tires and the roads were very wet. As he left a toll booth, he lost control and started spinning.
Fortunately for Brian, the other lane was clear and he was able to regain control without hitting anything or leaving the roadway. This submitter has cameras built into his car and it even shows a bunch of real-time info about the car's systems. Cool! What happened to him while driving to work was not so cool. When our submitter stopped for a pedestrian at a crosswalk, the driver behind him didn't stop, smashing into him instead and totaling his Geely Geometry C. Our submitter was uninjured, but the other driver was taken to a hospital. He says he's already placed an order for a new car, an Opel Corsa E. This submitter sent in this week's Tesla behaving badly. He was driving his BMW convertible in Santa Monica when a Tesla Model X started tailgating him. As our submitter slowed down for a stop sign, the Tesla driver took to the bus lane to run the stop sign while passing him. Moments later, he ran another stop sign to make a turn. Here's a little reminder, folks. You can't run a stop sign for any reason in the United States, even when making a right turn. I don't know why this is so hard to understand. Dane was waiting to pick up an Uber Eats order when he watched two vehicles back into each other at the same time. Dane says the two drivers were both women with their husbands sitting in the passenger seats. And after checking for damage, they both went on their way. Miraculously, nobody was injured. Watch what happened while Matthew was cruising down a Florida highway. A pickup truck kicked up a piece of plywood and Matthew had no chance to react before plowing into it. He's not sure yet if he'll file an insurance claim to get the front of his Corolla fixed. This submitter encountered a driver stopped at a traffic light who didn't move when it turned green. He honked as he drove around them and this kicked off a high speed road rage pursuit. Our submitter told us he went into escape mode to try and lose that Civic and that if not for the poor California roads, he would have utilized my 300 plus horsepowers to get away. Once our submitter was on private property and just before he reached a manned security gate, the Honda driver decided to turn around. I'm guessing they needed to get back to their texting. Nick was behind a slow semi truck in the passing lane when the driver of a rental box truck started merging into his lane without signaling or checking his mirror. Nick honked and took to the shoulder before accelerating past the rental truck. This submitter was driving along when he noticed a black Lexus tailgating him. While rounding a corner, he decided to turn into the far lane to give the Lexus driver room to go past him. Our submitter says the Lexus driver looked right at him before sideswiping his Ford Explorer and driving off. At first he chased after him, but when he remembered he'd captured the incident on his dash cam, he backed off and called 911. He made a police report, including his footage as evidence. The next day, he saw the same vehicle driving erratically around his own neighborhood. He eventually found it in a garage and blocked it in before calling 911 again. Of course, the owner denied the accident. But when the police arrived, they confirmed the vehicle was the same one from the dash cam footage. The Lexus driver's insurance covered our submitter's repairs of about 3,000 US dollars. On his way home from class, Kevin watched a Jeep driver lose patience with traffic and flip a U-turn over a curb, temporarily driving on the sidewalk. He says this intersection is always backed up thanks to inexperienced college-age drivers doing stupid things. He also told us it must be a Jeep thing. Watch what happened when this submitter was headed to work. The driver of a Chevy Avalanche locked up their brakes and lost control and our submitter couldn't avoid hitting them. The Avalanche was totaled as was the submitter's Toyota Tacoma. Since the Chevy driver was at fault for not paying attention, his insurance policy paid for our submitter's repairs. Matthew sent us another painful parking lot clip. He was leaving a shopping center with his girlfriend, or trying to anyway, but various drivers had created a gridlock situation and nobody could move. When the area in front of him finally opened up, three other drivers simultaneously pulled into it, blocking him yet again. 
Matthew called this a good bit of fun drama for a Saturday afternoon. Victor was taking a driving course in Germany. As you might have noticed, he didn't tell his passenger Teresa that this section features a kick plate that sends your rear wheels in a random direction. Needless to say, her reaction was priceless. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to watch Wham Bam Gamer Cam tomorrow and Wham Bam Tesla Cam on Sunday. And I'll see you here next week.